All right, we're going to take a look at the difference between a 24-inch 1080p uh, monitor and a 43-inch uh, 4K TV. And the reason that I'm moving from a 24-inch and I want to get a bigger, higher resolution monitor is because um, I do game development with the Unreal Engine. And as you can see, there's a lot of buttons and such. And this would be the same if you're doing... Um, video production um, or any kind of application that has a lot that you need a lot more room so like this is a 1080p and for instance a lot of times I'd like to take this tab here and be able to watch it why while um, while developing over here well you can kinda of see how you have to scrunch them on there so the the 4k TV should give four times the resolution meaning um, you should have one, two, three, four. It's going to be like four of these monitors in one, which will be awesome because then I could just move this basically over to the other side and still have plenty of room over here. So we're going to look and see how good that works. Um, the reason I went with this Vazio is because I've seen other people buy TVs, and if you just buy a regular TV, what could happen is the text on the screen could look... Um, could look totally off. You, a lot of times you have to buy a specific type of TV that can render that. There's a lot of complexities in buying one. But on this one, the, the Vazios, almost all of them say like media center, media TV. And I've done some reviews on them and people say uh, they have no problems with the text. Um, so they don't actually say TV, they say like a media monitor. Uh, so let me, let me grab this. And I just bought it, picked it up at Walmart. I just bought it and picked it up at Walmart. It was like 248 with tax and everything out the door. So I looked at the 32 inch and then I looked at the 50 and the 32 inch seemed a little too small, especially if it's 4K, and then the 50 just seemed too big. So let's set this back here to kind of get an idea of what it's going to look. You know, the size comparison. So, so not overly too big. Let's pull this back a little bit. And we're going to pause this and come back once we actually get it hooked up, but just so you can kind of get a, a size comparison. So take in consideration that the new monitor is going to be four, uh, like basically you're going to take this monitor and put it in four. So you, it's still going to be a little smaller and depending on the resolution that you set it at, you don't have to set it at the full um, 4K. So we're going to play around with the resolutions, but as you can see right now on the screen, um, it's, it's kind of hard to... Uh, work with these different windows so hopefully that's going to be a lot easier with the higher resolution and we'll see here in just a minute so I'm going to pause this uh, take this monitor down get the TV hooked up and then we'll go from there all right we're back we're going to take a look at the TV now um, I'm going to sit down here and kind of show you a few things we got it turned on and you can see how much uh, bigger it is so it's actually uh, I think it's actually a perfect uh, size um, 32 I think would have been too small I think anything bigger than 43 would be too big um, especially just this, like sitting at this desk right here um, so probably um, I just have it sitting on the desk but I'll probably mount it up on the wall so it'll actually give you more desk space which is really nice also um, so let's take a look at what's going on here now I'm going to try to talk loud because the camera's behind me and I don't know if you'll be able to see the uh, or be able to hear me because the mic's on the back but let's take a look at it here so this is 1080p, so this is the same resolution as the other monitor, so it just looks the same. If you go back to um, go back to this program, you can see the windows are still uh, small, where you don't have much room to move around. So what we're going to do is um, minimize these, and we're going to right-click on the desktop, and then go to Display Settings, and then right here you'll see where it's 1080p. So 1080 by 1920, that means uh, 1080 pixels up this way. The height, and then 1920, so it's 1,920 pixels this way. So that's the, if you look real closely, you'll see those little bitty pixels. So that's pretty phenomenal, actually. If you look at that, um, 1920 times, uh, let's see here, times uh, 1080. That's two million pixels. Wow, that's incredible. And now think about this: when we change the resolution to four times that, so just times this by four. So let's do times. Four, we're gonna. It's gonna be displaying eight, a little over eight million pixels. That's phenomenal. If you sit there and look real closely, you'll see eight million of them turning on and off and at different shades. But anyway, so so at 1080, let's let's go and change. Let's uh, look how high, much higher we can go. It's phenomenal. It says recommended 2160 by 3840. So we'll go with that recommendation. That's Windows recommendation. Uh, so that's not the true uh, 4K. It's more of a uh, so let's try it and see, see what it looks like. 
we're going to do key changes. So there we go. Now we're at a, a lot higher resolution. Yeah, all the text looks super crisp. Um, just it looks just like a monitor would look. So if you're looking to get a monitor, uh, the Vizios uh, would be a good good pick. Just easy. I mean, you know, it's going to work. Um, so let's close this down. Let's go back. Let's see how much resolution we have. Oh, but there is it, there is one problem, I believe. Let's go back to display settings. Now look at the uh, change size of text and app. So I think we're going to put that back down to a hundred and. See how much smaller it makes everything, which is good in a way, but it might be a little harder to see. But we got the real estate of the bigger monitor, so it does help. So let's close this down. So this, like if you see these icons right here, this was the old screen. I mean, that's how much the old monitor space it had right in here. And then you can see the new higher resolution, the 4K, you can see how much more room there is. That, that's like a prime example. Um, so let's go back into our application. So let's say this is uh, whatever application you use. And as you can see, um, you have an incredible more amount of room on here. Let's grab this and just drag it over here. Let's grab this. Wow, look at that. Amazing. So yeah, um, yeah, the comparison is night and day. So just by seeing this, I'm already liking it, and I think it's going to be awesome. It's a little further back, too, because the other monitor was a little further because of the stand and everything. So it just seems easier on my eyes already. Um, I may have to change the resolution just a little bit to make it um, everything a little bigger, but um, but not that much. So just by looking at this, I I'm giving it a thumbs up. I like the size, and I think it's not too big. Um, the 43, I think, is a sweet spot. I think a 50, like I said, was too big, and a 32 would just be too small. So I think it's perfect size. It gives you more space on your desk. Let me show you how the desk looks now. Let me turn on the light. So you can get a, uh, get a look at the desk. I'm going to take this off the stand here yeah so you get um, yeah a lot more room on the desk as you can see before the monitor took up most of the desk uh, so it just looks a lot cleaner a lot nicer and I would I'm liking it I'm really liking it. I love the uh, more room that it has so if you get a chance comment below if you decide uh, if you ever get a monitor uh, and this is a TV so it's so much cheaper I was looking at the 4k monitors at a 43 inch and they were up in the thousand dollars and like I said I got this at Walmart for 248 ship everything and so if you have any questions or anything leave them below love to hear from you thanks for watching all right went ahead and hung it on the wall uh, it's pretty easy to do basically just took two uh, the screws in the back just took two of the screws and then uh, put some wire on the back of them and you can take a look how it's hot. Uh, it's just like the picture wire that you can buy at Walmart or um, I was gonna put it on a stud but I couldn't find one so I went ahead and used the monkey hook uh, they sell them at Dollar Tree like four for a dollar all you do is shove it into the wall and then push it back there and then as you can see how the wire is put on there um, it's just basically there's four screws back there and I undid the top two and then just wrap the wire around and then uh, here's the, what the monkey hook looks like. You just take this hook like this and you stick it in the wall and it goes in there like that. Just real easy, you can just do it with your hand. Just um, stick it in there and it goes like that. And then you can hang the, uh, hang it on there. Here's what the wire looks like. It's just, a, it's steel wire. Um, they sell it at Walmart. They sell it at uh, Home Depot. It's really cheap, it's used to hang pictures. Um, so the cool thing about that too is uh, if you don't get it straight, you can simply just move it just like a pitcher. Um, just get it exactly how you want it. Uh, and also too, it's cheap and easy to do. And then if you want to move it up, no problem, just pop it off, just pull it up, uh, move the monkey hook and then just pop it back on. So really easy to do, cheap. And look how much cleaner that looks with all the more desk space. So really digging it. All right, here's another follow up uh, by using Working with it using the code, which would actually what I'll be doing with this, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say there's no going back to that other monitor for sure. This this monitor blows it out of the water. Um, for one, the monitor sets further back, like we said, it's so much easier on the eyes, um, and two, um, you can zoom in so much easier. So the other monitor, um, everything would kind of look like this. See, and you kind of have to squint to see everything. But now with the bigger monitor, everything's bigger, and it's it's a night and day difference. Uh, I could not go back to the other monitor. Um, phenomenal change. Um, even on the internet, if you go down here to the internet, uh, everything, and I don't know if the phone does it justice, but um, this recording that I'm doing, but everything is just so much easier to see, so easy on your eyes, you can just sit back and um, 
easily work and get stuff done. Yeah, and again, um, back to the, you know, it's four times larger, so you have so much more room to work. Before, I, I was trying to squeeze in here and squeeze stuff together, uh, and now it, uh, I can zoom out and kind of get an easy picture of almost all the code, and then just kind of zoom in right where I need to work. Um, so I would say, yeah, if you if you if you're on the fence about thinking about doing getting a bigger monitor, uh, go out and get the 43. I think that's the sweet spot. And we're gonna do a quick follow up after using the monitor for a little while. Uh, for one, I'd like to say I love it; it's amazing. Uh, number two, uh, this did have some lag in the mouse, uh, which I did not like at all. Um, so the way to get rid of that though is you'd right click on the desktop and then go down to Display Settings. And then if you go down to display settings, you'll see where it says um, advanced display settings. And then right in there, you can click on, so right there you'll see where it says 30 hertz refresh rate. That's how fast the screen is refreshed. Um, if you go down here to uh, display uh, adapter properties, and then you can drag, take a look at that. And then on the monitor tab, uh, that's where you'll actually click the down arrow and change it to uh, 60. And then once you do that, uh, it'll refresh the screen. And then, yeah, then it's just like a regular monitor. So one of the things you may want to take into consideration when you're looking at the display, this actual display is an E43-E2 Vizio. Um, you want to make sure that the display is 60 hertz. Um, so I guess depending on the model. Uh, but I'm pretty sure most of them are. But just uh, d double check that. And also double check your video card and make sure it is capable of displaying um, number one, the resolution, you know, hey, can my video card uh, display 4096 by 2160, which is a 4K resolution, and also can it display that at 60 hertz? So you might get the monitor that's 60 hertz and works perfect, but then your video card's not capable of pushing that much video. So definitely take that into consideration also. Another thing is if you do want to keep this high resolution, uh, it is very nice because you have tons of screen space. The only thing that you might, uh, you know, the icons might be too small or the text might be too small for you to read. If so, you have two options. One, you can change the resolution, um, or the other, which I think would be better, would be ch uh, to change the text size. So let's go up to 150 and you can see um, it just makes them a lot bigger, a lot easier to read. So uh, so there's 100 um, and just really depending on, and then there's 150. And you can of course go way bigger, but I, I went a little bigger, but it's just too big. So anyway, that's the wrap up. I really love the monitor. If, if you've got a monitor, a big monitor, or have any suggestions or ideas, um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. All right, take care.